you know? All of a sudden, I was I was being picked on, and I was small, and then I worked out hard, and I, I looked... I look maybe normal, you know, like I've really worked out hard too. I mean, I was deadlifting 315. I was strong. I did as strong as I could be, you know, squatting. I think I was squatting 275 just for like singles, you know, because I was working out with football players and power lifters. And, you know, I got that respect in military school my sophomore year because I learned so many different exercises. My form was so good that there was a, the, 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 the school had a postgraduate football team. So for really good athletically individuals in football who didn't get a scholarship, they would go to school, finish up their credits, be able to get a, uh, be able to get a scholarship and then, um, and then go to a, go to a school, you know, go to a better school. So this was, this military school was, was really good for that. Fort Union Military Academy, really, really great military school, by the way. And, and so, you know, they were calling me Little Joe Weeder. That's, that's what they were calling me. They, they were calling me, uh, they were calling me Little Joe Weeder and it kind of, it kind of stuck because, you know, I, here I am knowing all these exercises and they actually saw me changing. They saw, they saw how I, they, they knew I wasn't taking any, they, I mean, this is school. So they know, they know you're not taking steroids. So when someone gains like, you know, 30 pounds in school as a, as a kid, as a little kid, and, 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 you know, th this is a school where they're, they're seeing, you know, like everybody's the same age and then they, they can tell that like, I'm not developing as quick as everyone else. It's, it was visual, you know, open showers. It was visual. Um, you know, I, I got hazed on because I was a late bloomer in, in all honesty. Um, everybody else was more fit, physically more mature than me. Um, they had, they had hair and stuff like that. I, I was still not really there. Question. How, um, like how much did you weigh? And like, what was like, like your very first workout? Okay. Can I remember what was it? And like, how, how much weight were you pushing? Like your very, very first workout? How, <laughs> I do and, remember. And how, like, try to, if you could just try to explain yeah. like how okay. small were you? So, when I went into the gym for the first time in military school, okay, I put the bar on and I did the bar for seven reps. That's how strong I was. <laughs> it was 45 pound bar for seven reps, man. That's how weak I was. I was that weak. How old were you? I was, um, 13. 13, and how much did you weigh? 103 pounds. I was, I was a skinny kid. People paid for It wasn't easy. So, it went from that, that year, bench pressing the bar for seven reps, to benching 135. I benched, I benched 135 by the end of my first school year. So, that was tremendous to me. Um, I got it for three. I got 135 for three with that spot. I had someone there, but they didn't touch the bar. And... My se my sophomore year, at the end of my sophomore year, I I bench pressed uh, 205 for one. I got 205 for one. And I was, you know, I was deadlifting 315, T-bar rowing, three plates with an old, old school T-bar. I was, um... I was squatting uh, two seven. I squatted two seventy five for four. Um, you know, just with the weight belt, and uh, that didn't have knee wraps or anything. It was, you know, it was just it was just all hard. And I, I force fed myself. I ate my, my I would sneak into the chow hall. You you got fed three times a day. Um, I was notorious. I mean, I didn't get caught. I think that's kind of one. That was the one thing I never. They never. <laughs> they they hazed me so bad. I almost got kicked out. So every day I only had 
a short period of time for myself. The rest of the time I had to do marching duty for the demerits they would give me for like intentionally stepping on my shoe and saying I didn't shine my shoe or scuffing my floor and saying I didn't sc I did I didn't shine my floor. And these things add up and then after a certain number of credits every month, then you have to march 45 minutes for each tour. I was in the band company, so I had 12 credits, everyone else had 10. We got two extra credits a month. It was within like half the month. I, I always was able to get away with a little bit of hardcore training at the beginning, and then I had to come up with a heavy-duty style of training on my own because I had to march these tours. So the, the tours ended up being cardio unintentionally, and the training was, you know, high intensity unintentionally. It evolved. And looking back on it, I see how, how much I learned from just seeing how the different training evolved my, my physique. And one of the things that they never got me for, they say you, you get demerits for, get in trouble for, was, was stealing food out the chow hall. I was so skinny that, that even when the captains of the, the, that worked at the school, they would they saw me. And, and I, they, they're supposed to, like, like, you're stealing. You're not supposed to do that. And I'd be the only one in there. I mean, God is my witness. I'm the only one in there. And I'm, like taking a sandwich bag, taking scoops of the peanut butter, sticking it in the sandwich bag, stealing milk, hiding it under my coat, like two thing, two cups of milk, walking back, you know, marching back with two cups of milk under my under my arm, hold it, holding my, my bag. They knew I was doing it, and the milk was for the protein powder, and I had the Champion Nutrition Weight Gainer protein powder, and I put, you know, I mean, I was, I was doing a lot of calories to make it happen, you know, and it works. I trained hard, I ate a lot of calories, and I made really, really good results naturally. I mean, but I pushed myself. It wasn't like, it wasn't like what you see these days. I had to do it because I had to survive. It's much different than just doing it for vanity. You're getting beat up every day. They would come in in the middle of the night and beat the shit out of me just because of my name. It was really hard. So, as a result, you know, I would really take out my aggression on the weights, you know. If I got if I got beat up that night and, and, and the floor was scuffed up and I was up, you know, at night, I would have to climb back in bed when they would check to do bed check and hope that they didn't see the floor scuffed. So I would stay up all night to clean the floor to make sure the floor was clean so that they wouldn't get me. And then the same motherfuckers that did that to me would come in in the morning and scuff it up right in front of my face knowing I stayed up all night to fix it. And so then I would go into the gym and I would lift those weights like I was beating the fuck out of those people because I couldn't, I couldn't fight back. I wasn't strong enough. So I would fight back in the gym and I would fight hard. I would fight hard in the gym. Hard. It was it was a matter of survival. I built myself up said, towards the end of the year. My cocksucker drill sergeant did it to me one last time and I snapped. Because I already had more demerits than the school had allowed. And I they told him my stepfather was was from being in the Marines, was friends with the commandant of the school, another Marine. And he asked him from one Marine to another not to kick me out. Because he knew, and everybody knew that they were hazing me, but there was there was nothing anyone could do because they were so tight no one would squeal. And I would tell them, but they would, they would tell me that it's just going to get worse if you keep talking. And it did. So I had to shut up and just take it. So, I picked his ass up one morning when he did that to me, and I rammed him, I ran with his body in my hand, and he was, a, he was the biggest kid in, the, in, our, in, our, in our barracks, probably about 240, 250 pounds, he was big, and I ran, I ran all the way down the hall, it was probably about, I don't know, maybe 50 feet with him over my shoulder and just started ramming him into the corner of a wall until like three other people pulled me off of him and I grabbed those two people and I threw them against the wall and I stood there and told every one of them if anyone touches me again I'm gonna fucking kill him and that was the last day I got hazed nobody touched me again
I still train that hard. When I go to the gym, sometimes you have to bring up things like that. Sometimes you have to bring up painful shit in your life if you really, really, really want to push past failure. Because these days people are too busy on their phone and they're distracted so they can't. I mean, even hearing music, you know? I would rather hear screaming. I would rather remember that and take that and turn that pain into something that really makes you be a winner. I never did take my aggression. I never did fight back other than that one day. I never bullied anyone else. Um, I think weight, I think weightlifting and natural bodybuilding saved my life. It made me, it made me believe in myself. It gave me strength. It gave me courage. I, I, I knew that my strength was natural. I overcame bullying with my natural strength. There was no thought of steroids. I was still wondering what they were, but I, I'd never taken them or seen them. But that's how I am. If I hear something once, I'll remember it. And I earned, I earned everybody's respect that year. And that I didn't come back. I changed, and my my family saw. I guess that's what they wanted from me was for me to overcome this, and it happened. So God bless my stepfather for sending me to Fourteen Military Academy. I I never did want it. I never thought I wanted to go there, but looking back on it, so it it got me it got me over you know my feeling of insecurity. It got me over feeling that I couldn't defend myself, feeling that I was a, a skinny loser. And I did it on my own. I did it with hard work. And I have a lot of respect for myself because of that. I have, it's called self-respect.